What's up, everyone? It's... Wait. Wait, wait. No, no, no. What? What's up, Hardcore Nation? It's Hardcore Christopher here, and... It's... Um... It's... This is a video that... <laughs> this is a video that I'm going to talk about. That I'm going to talk about somebody in my life. Well, that someone just so happens to be Clifford Dell. Box. I do remember the, like, the key to getting a high school for the <laughs> Well, let's start from the beginning, shall we? My father and mother um they were together for a long time. Longer than they were ever married. Um my my mom and my dad were married from 2000 from 2004 and my father really wasn't a very nice man in fact my father had a quick quick temper anything would set him off he was like a he was like a ticking time bomb of rage sometimes. Um I remember that him and my mom got into an got into an argument one time. And I want to say this is like in 2003, a year a year before they got a divorce. And, you know, I used to respect him. I used to respect him. And I will admit, I love him because he's my dad, and he always will be. But I don't love his actions, but I'll get to that in a little bit. So... They get into a they they get into they get into a argument. Things get heated. He goes outside and he punches he punches a he punches he punches a shed. Broke his hand Broke his hand. Broke it all to hell. Okay. Then. Then we go into 2004. And I really don't like to. And I really don't like telling this part. But in 2004. I want to say, I want to say it was a Wednesday, Thursday, maybe. No, I, th I think it was a, I think it was a Saturday because I didn't have school. It was a, I want to say it was a weekend. So anyway, I'm uh. 
I'm seven at the time. And I I was sit I was sitting I was sitting in the lit I was sitting in the living room because we lived in a trailer. I for some odd reason I didn't sleep in my bed. I slept on the couch. Um that sort of thing. But they being my mom and my dad he um they were they were yeah they were yelling and screaming at one another and my mom went out the door uh Whitney and Kayla went with her and she goes, do you want to come with me? I go, no, because I thought, I thought she was, I thought she was going to go like to the store or something and come right back. Well, that didn't happen. So I stayed with my dad and my dad was raising all sorts of hell and and uh I didn't know this, but my dad went out to my grandma's went out to my grandma's old trailer. I mean it was it it, it was old. It had wasps living in it and everything like that and but anyway it it was an old trailer. And I think I had just woke up from taking a nap or something. Next thing I know, I'm in the car. We're out to my grandma's old trailer. And I see him at the front door. And I'm in the car and there's and, and there's police and I'm thinking, what in the hell is going on here? Come to find out that my mom... I think it was my grandma or my one or the other. They um, one of them called the cops and escorted my dad off of the property along with me. Now, this is the part that I don't like. And I don't even remember this, but my grandma told me. And she goes, we were lucky if we ever, we were lucky that we got you, bub. And I go, what do you mean? And she goes, your dad dropped you off. At your at your uncle Perry at your uncle Perry's and Aunt Bessie's because they lived on Liberty at the time in uh, Web City and 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 my grandma told me that my aunt said, Cliff, this isn't right. Well, my dad basically said, you can have him. I don't want him. And my aunt said that, Cliff, this isn't right. These kids should not be split up the way they are. Because he had some work to do like in California or something and didn't want to take me with him. So I so I so I stayed there for about I want to say a day or two. 
and I went I went to my grandma's. That 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 freaked me all the way out because I didn't know where I was. So my mom and dad got a divorce and the the uh the custody case to my knowledge was still going was still going on the case had not been closed but I'll get to that in a minute too you see my dad I will admit, I'm nothing like my dad, and I'm glad for it, because I've heard stories about when my mom was pregnant with us that he he choked her over a road sign, because it was telling him to go one way and she was telling him to go the other. Um, I heard that. He used to beat her. Trying to contain myself, Hardcore Nation. But it's hard. You know, my dad, my dad helped, helped bring, bring us into this world. And I'm not going to lie about that. In, it, ta it takes two to make kids. But, you know, Okay, so, yeah, I was at my grandma's house, and they get a divorce. Now, let me put this into perspective for you guys. I haven't seen my father since 2005. And I haven't seen him in a long time. I mean, I remember when he would call and he would say, Happy birthday, buddy! Or he'd call every night. He'd call on our trip to Kansas City. I remember when I had my asthma attack and I was in the hospital for three days and he came and saw me. But. My dad. My dad's no angel. No parent is. Un unfortunately, as kids, we we are taught to love your love our parents. But as but as time goes on and as we grow up, we start to despise the per we start to despise the people that are in our lives. Well, that wasn't in our lives. Excuse me. But you know something? I'm I'm getting off of subject. So they get a divorce. We see him in 2005. And 
and and that was the last time we that was the last time we saw him to my knowledge next time I saw him was on the news He was... He was what? What, what could my father have possibly done to be on the news? How about... How about be a drug dealer? And get caught with 38... 38 ounces of marijuana in a van... In the van that he owns... This really hurts. You know, I mentioned before about the custody case. I mean, he stopped paying his child support. <clears throat> he just stopped paying his child support. And he is supposed to pay child support. But that's until I found out something. Remember the tornado that tore, that tore through Joplin, that EF5? Well, he lost his job because of it. And I defended it. That's until I found out something. My dad closed the custody case. The custody case is now closed. And he dropped all of his rights. So, legally, I don't have a father. But, but he still is my father. He walked, he completely walked out on us. Now, what else is there for me to say? I said that I used to respect him. I don't anymore. Because you want to know something, you deadbeat bastard! YOU SON OF A BITCH! YOU CHOSE DRUGS OVER YOUR KIDS! WHO DOES THAT?! AND YEAH, I KNOW IT HAPPENS A LOT! YOU DON'T THINK IT HURTS? THAT WHEN I GRADUATED? THAT YOU WEREN'T THERE? THAT YOU WEREN'T... THAT YOU WEREN'T... There in my life at all. You don't even call. You don't even. You, you don't even wonder how we are. You don't even wonder about your own kids. You are a sorry excuse for a father. You are a sorry excuse. For a human being. When you choose drugs over your kids, there is something wrong. I had to grow up so fast 
to take your place when it wasn't my place to step in. I had to play the peacekeeper. I I stuck up for you. I I did whatever I could and yes I am your son but I'm not gonna watch you kill yourself it's obvious you turned to drugs because you knew that you oh and you also spent time in jail you motherfucker You are a piece of, you are a piece of garbage. You didn't want nothing to do with us. Custody, the custody was supposed to be split. But no, you you just decide to give up your rights. How in the hell do you think that makes us feel? And you're going to get yours. Maybe it won't be today. Maybe it won't be tomorrow, but I know when you die, you're going to have to answer to God for all of, for all of your sins. And then what are you going to say? Huh? God sees all. What are you possibly going to say? Are you going to say, I didn't want no kids? Are you going to say, I love drugs more than I did my kids? Are you going to say, what are you going to say? Now, I'm, now I probably, my mom was working at Zips. He, he came in and she goes, he looked like death warmed over. You're going to be dead. You're going to be dead. You're going to be dead more. You are going to die a lot earlier. Because you know all those substances that you are pumping in your body. They are, they are going to kill you. And I guess that's what you want, isn't it? But... I know deep down in deep down in the back of your mind you are you you are saying I could have been a better father. I miss my kids. I wonder how they're doing. That's what every single That's probably every single thought that you try To, uh, to, ex to exert out of your mind, to take out of your mind. I don't respect you. And just because you chose drugs over your kids I guarantee that I will be a better father than you were ever to me it hurts it hurts not having you in my life but then again, you don't care. So, since you don't care about me, why the fuck should I care about you? Thank you. Fuck you. Bye.
This has been Hardcore Christopher. Keep it hardcore, everyone.